Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I wanna to show you the VLOOKUP function inside Microsoft Excel. Now, this tutorial is uh, geared towards beginners, so if you've never heard of VLOOKUP before or are wondering about it, I am just using a simple data set to show you, but I think this way you'll be able to use it uh, with more larger tables of data if you're doing this at work or for a project at home. This is a super powerful function, and I'm gonna go through it so that you understand it and then just take a look I'll put a link down to the data file that I'm using here so if you just wanted to open it up you'll be able to open it up in Microsoft Excel and follow along by trying to reconstruct what I'm showing you anyways let's get started with VLOOKUP for beginners inside Microsoft Excel So if you're looking for other Microsoft Excel beginner tutorials, I'll put the link to my popular ones down below in the card above. Uh, let me know what type of things you're looking to learn and I can create more videos uh, on that or other tech uh, topics too. But for this today, VLOOKUP. So the first thing I wanna say, V stands for vertical. So this, uh, when I'm talking about vertical, I'm talking about the columns here. Now you might hear something called HLOOKUP. If you, that's a different function because then we would be talking horizontal across the rows. But this tutorial is VLOOKUP. Okay, so before we get creating our function, I wanna give you a little example to see why you'd be creating it. And now I have a this uh, data set that I have is a small data set, but you could imagine if it was much larger with hundreds of rows and uh, thousands of entry, uh, entries, why this would be more valuable. But this will give you the essence of uh, the power behind VLOOKUP. Now with this case right here, I already have my function created up here and I'm gonna enter a employee code from over here and it's gonna return Turn me the salary of that uh, employee code. Now, when you're using VLOOKUP, the uh, VL, uh, the VLOOKUP value must come from the first column, and then the uh, the columns, the VLOOKUP columns, must be to the right of it. So I'll be looking up over here, but then the columns it's looking up will come to the right of it. So if I go ahead and uh, click in employee code, notice it says an error right now. Well, the reason it says there's an error because I haven't entered anything in it, so it's not reading anything and it's giving back that NA to it. But I'm gonna click in here, so I'm just gonna type in uh, GOT, and I'm gonna type in E, and hit enter, and you can see it gave me back uh, 66,000. So you can see if I go to GOTE over here, and then it gave me back. So it gives you this powerful way uh, to look up the data in your tables using this VLOOKUP function. But let's go and uh, I'm gonna show you how to construct this with this, uh, with this data sheet. Okay, so for the example from the data that I'm using here, what I wanna create for the VLOOKUP is I wanna be able to type in an employee name and then I want it to give me back what team they are on. So I'm just gonna construct this VLOOKUP over here. I'm gonna use, let's say, these two cells and I'll move them around after to show you um, how you can adjust them. But those are the two cells that I'm gonna use. But to start my function, I'm just gonna click on this cell here and when the first thing when you start writing a function, you need to put the equal equal sign. So when I put the equal sign like that, then I can start spelling VLOOKUP. And you notice as soon as I start uh, putting a couple letters, I get VLOOKUP pop up and it gives me an idea what, uh, what VLOOKUP is. So if you read it over here, it says look for a value in the leftist column of the table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select this VLOOKUP right here. So as I select it, and then I have these number of things that it is requiring. So as I go through, you can see how it's separated by these commas. Each of these are an argument that I gotta make sure that I fill or the VLOOKUP isn't gonna, uh, isn't gonna work. So let's go ahead and start filling in these four arguments. And now the first argument is look up value. So what this is, I need a place, I wanted to be able to write the name in and it's gonna give me what their job designation, their employee designation is. So I need a spot to write this in. Now this is where I pick a cell and I'll just, I'm gonna click above it here. So I'm just gonna click here and that's the spot where I'm gonna write the name of the person. And so that's all I have to do for the first argument is give it the lookup value. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do comma, press the comma, and then I'm on to the next argument, argument two. 
The next one is table array. So I need to select the table that I'm going to be using. Uh, so it's this table right here. I'm just going to drag it down and select. Uh, now, if I wasn't using all the columns, I don't need to bring it all the way. In this case, it's just a small uh, table, so I'm just selecting everything. But uh, if I'm just looking at the employee designation, I don't really need the team or the salary in this one for this V uh, V lookup. The other way you can do it, I just did the selection tool, but let's say it was a really large table. Uh, what you can do, I'll just go back a few. You can just type in the uh, numbers too. So if I put B2, you can see now I have this selected up here. If I add the colon uh, here, and now I can add the second part and I know it's going to go all the way down to F25. So I'll just type in F25 and you can see how everything is selected. So that might be an easier way rather than using the selection tool is just to find those uh, two points to get the range. And now I'm done argument number two. I just add my comma. I'm on to the column index number. Now the thing to remember about this, a lot of people will think that the column index number when they see see this. Uh, so I have a blank column here to kind of serve a purpose of explaining this. Um, I need to pick the column that uh, is associated with what I want to be looking through. So this is what I want right here, this employee designation. Now I need to start counting from uh, the beginning of the table here. And the beginning of the table is this one. It's in B. So this is one right here. This is two right here. This is three four and five. A doesn't, it doesn't make a difference that this is a, a column over here. This isn't part of the table, so this isn't one. So it's just something I just want to point out, making sure that the, you know that the start of the table, no, don't uh, connect it to the letters up top on it. So this is one, two, and three. So I know it's column three I wanted to pull from. And so I put my three and I'm done my third argument. Now my last argument is just a true or false uh, one. And this is, so the if you want it true, it's gonna be an approximate match uh, versus the exact match. Now this is gonna be dependent upon um, when you're uh, searching, uh, do you do you wanna force it to be that exact match or can, you get, or can it give you back a close match to it? So it's going to depend. You can kind of switch that back and forth depending on what works the best for you. In my case, I want to be able to type in a name and then uh, an exact name and give me back their designation. So I'm going to click on false here. And all I have to do is end the bracket, put an end bracket. But actually, I don't even have to do that. I could just hit enter if I wanted to, but I will. And then I'm going to hit my enter. Notice it says NA. It's because I haven't entered anything into that cell that uh, I, I've selected. And I'll give it a, I'll try Eric here. So if I type Eric, hit enter, it says it's an analyst and you can see it's an analyst there. If I go and pick uh, Danny here, I'm going to write Danny. And as I said, this is an easy little table that I could just look on the look and see, but I'm trying to, talk to uh, show you the big picture. If you had uh, hundreds of entries or thousands, how this could work for you to save you a lot of time, it can be very, very powerful. So now whatever I enter into here, I'm going to get it back uh, with a V look up there. Now I can move this around too. So if I wanted to, uh, maybe uh, if I didn't want this on top, I'm going to just cut this and paste it below here. Maybe I wanted uh, this one. I can cut these both over. Or I can paste it over here. I can fix my rows if I want. Just by double clicking up here, it stretches out. I could give it some titles. So if I wanted this to be, uh, if I put in my equals here, I can just click on my, uh, I'll just click here and it will copy that over. And I notice that's not large enough. I could put an equals here and this is going to be the employee name, hit enter. And I can go through and format this uh, with it too. So I'm going to write some other names in here. We'll type in Aria again and you can see it comes back as analyst, so it's working even though I moved it. Now, check if you ever want to move um, a cell like this, 
you can just click back into the VL lookup and you can make any changes. So it's an i7 now because as I moved it down, it moved down with it, but maybe I want it in a different place. I would have to go back into the formula and I can adjust it up here with a different spot. Or if you've ever find anything or your table gets moved, uh, you can go through and adjust these after too. Now, another reason that you might want to uh, maybe make an adjustment, uh, if I type in uh, Sam, notice that I get this error. Well, I can see that Sam's down here. Now the thing, remember when I checked, uh, I checked faults for the exact match on it. Now it looks like Sam's right, but the problem is I actually have, if I go down and double click in this cell, Sam has a space in it. So, and I didn't see that at first, or if you didn't see that, I knew it was there. But if I go ahead and delete this space and then uh, click in here and I'll write Sam again, and you can see there might be still what, another error in there. So if I go through and try to find, you can see now there's some more at the very beginning. And if I hit enter, now he's a business developer. So that's the thing with an exact match. Uh, if there's some spaces in there or something's messing it up and you're not getting it back, um, that could pose a problem. But you can also go back and make the changes on these. When you double click back into it, you can change, you can type, I could change that to true on that one and ha make it uh, to suit my needs better. So I hope you like this uh, tutorial on VLOOKUP here today. It's a very powerful formula. It can save you a lot of time inside Microsoft Excel. Let me know if you wanna learn some other things in Microsoft, Microsoft Excel down in the comments. Thanks for watching this week on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.